Hello and welcome to the Visionless Designs YouTube channel. So today I'm going to do a review on my Tape King TK101 uh, tape measure. Um, basically the only way I can uh, measure things in my workshop. So this is it right here. Uh, it's uh, a, a little battered. Uh, I've had this for uh, quite a while now. Um, yeah, so this one uh, has the ability to act as a spirit level and um, as well as a tape measure. Um, it, uh, yeah, it has a lot of features. It uh, has a large display, which is useless for me, but uh, for those that um, have... Uh, one sec, let's turn that on. There you go. Zero millimeters. There you go, so that's a mil. So there's the um there's the display. Might be a bit faded um now from uh abuse. Um but for me it's mainly the um the talking that I require so I can hear what, what it uh what it's saying. Uh so if I just pull this out. Thirty two centimetres, two millimetres. So that's currently what that that's doing. So if I should actually do a demonstration on the table here. Pull that back. 91 centimetres, 6 millimetres. So there we go, this is 91.6. Get rid out, and then on the display, it should have it there as well. Okay. Um, 94, 90, now, whoops, let's just draw this in. Um, it also has the ability to, uh, I'll just do that again, but. Measurements with the case. Uh, there, there. Ninety-two centimeters, four millimeters, including slightly different place, but uh, it's now measuring with the um, the case included. Uh, you wouldn't really do it on something like this, but if I were to go under the table, measure the distance from the floor to the underside, um, that's uh, where that comes in handy. Or doorways. Right. Another uh, thing that is handy with this is it. Let's see you talking. Um, it has the. Uh, Ability to change all the measurements that it reads out in. So, for example, oh. I'm going to turn this up. What's that dropping on? So, that, so and that's volume one. And then if we go to. That's the max it goes. 31 centimetres, 9 millimetres, including case. It's a little, for me, it's slightly distorted, but uh, I never have it that loud. But um, for different people, they might like that. Um, right, so if I press these buttons here uh, once, at the two buttons, just one click. 1 foot and 9 sixteenth inch, including case. Volume, 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 spirit level. Okay. 1 foot and Nine sixteen inch, including case. Okay, so you got that. And if I hold it in now, so it, if I press it again, it'll go back to. If I press it again, it'll go back to millimeters. Thirty one centimeters, nine millimeters. But if I now including case. hold it in because it's on the metric section. Thirty one centimeters, nine millimeters. Mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> Let's go to seventy. All right. I guess that's the same one meter if I try it again. 1,128 1, millimeters, including case. 112 centimeters, 7 millimeters, including so case. So you got that. And if I press it once again, so that's holding in for a couple of seconds. Press once again. 3 feet 8 and 3 8 inches, including case. And if I hold it in again. 44.37 inches. So yeah, whatever measurements you want to work in, it's pretty much got them. It's also helpful if uh, you're trying to convert different measurements as well. Four and one sixteenth inches, including 
Uh, for me, I, I tend to flip between Imperial and uh, Metric quite often, so uh, it, it's quite handy. Um, right, so the uh, tape measure, uh, as I said, has a spirit level um, built into it, um, which it displays it on the screen, if I recall, uh, but it also vocally speaks it out. It also um, makes uh, noises when it's nearing uh, being um, level. So. Yep. That, that's the sound of it being uh, level. And then if you go up. As you can hear, depending on which way you need to tilt it, it gives a different sound. Now this, this here, uh, it's one of my little jigs I use. It's about 10 degrees. So on there, if I press the button, the smooth button, the power button. 10.4 degrees. It just speaks out the, um, the actual reading. I'll turn you off Zero now. inches. Um, yeah, so it's the square button on the right side of the uh, tape measure um, that you use to activate that. You just hold it in to turn it on and uh, hold it in again to turn it off. Um, the big downside of uh, spirit level in this is it's only four inches long, so it's very easy for it to um, be inaccurate if you have like this, this tape, for example, because it needs leveling, has little dips and that in it. So it's very easy for it to get thrown off by a small dip. So it could, it could be level, um, but this is saying it's not, or um, it might say it's level when it isn't. Um, so it's better to get something long to put it on top of. Um, I actually use a uh, either a square block of wood that I've got that's about um, four foot, or I actually use the uh, spirit level, which I'll show here. Whoop. There we go. Let's just put that on there. Nice Where's that? Let's put that there. Still saying it's okay there, but yeah, you can see the comparison between the um, the bubble and the uh, the measure. Zero inches. Um, yeah, it, it's you can't rely on such a small thing. It's fine for something like a small shelf uh, or small items, but when you're doing big things like a, a floor or um, well, long shelves, long tables or anything, uh, you want to um, uh, get something under it. Right, uh, so if I just cycle through the options that you've got on this, uh, there are obviously shortcuts for each of them. Um, Spirit level, measurements, without the case, volume 6. Volume. Unit of measure, imperial. There we go. Spirit level, calibration. History of measurements. Battery level is on 65%. Spirit level. Right, so there are all the options you've got. There are shortcuts to them. Uh, if you want to, for example, if you want to make the tape measure uh, measure with the case, so you just hold down the power and the square button on the end. Measurements there you go. with the case for Click and them, that's it. one sixteenth inches, including case. That's how you do that. And then if you want to turn it off. Measurements without the case, zero inches. If you want to increase the volume, it's press the square button and one of the middle buttons, depending on what you want to do. So if I do volume seven, volume eight, volume nine, volume eight, volume seven, volume six, volume five, volume six, measurements without the case. Um, you are also able to um, store measurements, uh, apparently. Um, now, <sighs> admittedly, this is a feature I've struggled with quite heavily. Um, cool. Uh, what was it? Nope. It's... Measurements with the case. Measurements uh, it without doing? the case. Zero inches. Measurements with the case. Measurements without the case. <laughs> okay, I'm learning how to redo my uh, relearning my tape measure. 
so used to the shortcuts. I think that's how you cycle through the options. Volume six, volume five, volume six. There we go. As you go through the unit of measure, cycles. imperial. Unit of measure, metric. There we go. Spirit level calibration. I'm not touching that one. The spirit level calibration is uh, if you think the spirit level's off. So you find somewhere that is um, level, and then you uh, put it on and activate it. Um, I uh, haven't done it thus far. Um, it's, it's seemed pretty accurate. Um, my biggest problem I have is finding places that I know are a square in my house because I have a 1920s house where uh, things weren't very level. Um, and my workshop's not exactly level either. So, um, yeah, that, that, for most people, it should be fine. Just put it in the doorway or something and then do it. Because you can uh, rest it on the square side there or the bottom side there um right right uh i'll show you how to use the um the measurement uh, history function now so it was just press the button here next to the square zero inches retained press it again that's a bit useless Last there. Measurement released. i'm going to pull it out And then what I'll do is difference minus six and five sixteenth inches. Difference minus nine and one half inches. Difference one foot ten and difference one foot ten and seven sixteenth inches. And then we press it again. Last measurement released. And then I'll say so. Two. So the purpose of that is obviously to um, check on the size difference between uh, two different things. Um, I don't really use it that much, to be honest. I prefer just listening to, to um, what it is exactly. Um, but again, different people do things differently. Um, one thing that is a little bit frustrating for me is if I'm trying to... Um, if I, put, I normally do things in... Zero millimetres. There we go. So if I'm trying to do a long length, exact, it's not as quick as uh, someone else that can just draw out a tape measure and look um, but I can see it still gives me the uh, actual ability to do it um, I'll just show you how this is also helpful for me on the uh, chop saw now right so chopsaw. we're at the, um, the chop saw now um, so the way I'd use the tape measure here to gauge things um, is of course I put the um, with the tape measure mode on Now let's say I want to get um, 30 centimetres, so I'll measure that out against the blade. I'll be a bit closer, I'll do 35. Drag this up to it. To the stopper there. Thirty-five centimeters, six millimeters, including case. Come in at thirty-five, thirty-five centimeters, three millimeters. Thirty-five centimeters, one millimeter, including case. I think I can afford one mil, and that should. When I tighten that up, that tends to board in. Yep, there we go. There we go. So now I've got that distance measured there. So if I'm going to do multiple cuts, um, they're all going to be the same um, for me. Um, 
So yeah, it's handy for things like this. And again, uh, could do that with doorways or things like that. Battery wise, um, you've got a uh, lever at the back here, which opens it up. And it takes uh, two uh, AAA batteries. Um, I use, tend to use rechargeables in it. Oops, just take these out because you heard what the battery was before. Um, I'm going to swap these for some uh, dying batteries and show you what happens. Uh, hopefully, it's, uh, they haven't suddenly gained battery, some battery in my pocket. Oop, da -da. Oop, that in. And that in. There we go. Hold that down. Zero. Right, usually when it hits 20% as you go along, hopefully it's going to start doing it. I don't think it is. Um, go on, drain a bit. Uh, it tends to start um, beeping and uh, it's almost like a siren sound, which ironically drains the battery quicker, but it does let you know um, in advance that uh, you need to change the batteries. It'll also turn itself off when it starts to get too low. Okay, that's annoying. But yeah, I did say they were dying. Right, so that's pretty much that. Um, so I have had a couple of little problems with this. Um, the, I found the lock doesn't always, it's supposed to be it, push the button, it pulls in. Uh, that gets quite stiff. Um, and when trying to pull out, it does seem to jam a bit. But I mean, find that on most tape measures anyway, price depending. Um, but it can be quite a bit of an annoyance for me. Main actual issue is the speaker in it. Um, so over time, the dusty environment I have, it gets clogged up. Um, we've resolved it now, but I've had to have the tape measure taken apart several times um, because it's got so much dust on it that it's, uh, the sound just keeps dropping until it's barely audible on the max volume. Um, we've got around this by putting a, um, a gauze on it to basically keep the, um, the dust out and off it. Um, something that really, I would have thought they would put it in when they made it, but um, they haven't. So it's something that needs doing. Hopefully they'll, they've done it in the current uh, revisions, um, but there's no guarantee on that. That's been the main thing, because again, for me, if I can't hear it talking, it's pretty much a paperweight to me. Um, again, if you, if you have some sort of uh, eyesight, it's not too bad, because you can see it, see the screen. But again, um, it's handy to um, be able to hear it. So um, yeah, other than that, it's well, it's kind of an absolute necessity for me. Um, yeah, a bit pricey. I think I paid £95 for this. So it's the most expensive tape measure I've ever bought. Um, but I can't do the job without it. So I'm, I'm thankful to have it, despite its little niggles. Um, yep, that's that. I hope uh, you found this video helpful. Um, I hope to see you in future videos. Please check out the visionlessdesigns.com website um, where you'll see all my products that I make. Uh, also check out uh, my uh, Etsy, Instagram and Facebook pages. Uh, links are all in the description below and thank you very much.